This is not, by the way, and let us be clear, meant as an attack on officers as officers. I'm talking about a culture of law enforcement. I'm talking about a culture of policing. If you learn nothing else about racism tonight, know this. It's not about good people and bad people. It's not about good white folks and bad white folks, good cops and bad cops. It's about a culture and a system, a set of institutional practices that perpetuate inequality. The culture of policing does that. The culture of policing is the culture that punishes any cop who steps out of line and turns in his partner or somebody else in the department for wrongdoing. If you rat out somebody for violating the Constitution, God forbid you would do that, You'll be the one whose career is ended. That's a cultural problem within the body of law enforcement. And again, it's something about which people of color know. Therefore, Black Lives Matter makes perfect sense. You have to articulate that which has been ignored. You have to demand that which has been left out. You have to specify that which has been overlooked. To say all lives matter is like going back to 1970 when the statement, the big statement was black is beautiful, right? You have black folks reclaiming beauty standards, claiming a black aesthetic as beautiful. To say all lives matter be like getting in a time machine, going back to 1970, hearing somebody say black is beautiful and responding, well, we're all beautiful in our own way. Yeah, shut up, we know.